Rick, we've come down to the final race at Washougal for the 500 National Championship. Who do you think has the most pressure on, on the day? Do you think it's you or David? Well, I'd say it's a combination of, of the two of us. Uh, David has a lot of pressure because he's in the lead and he's got to hold it. And uh, I got pressure on me because if I don't win both motos, then I don't really have a chance of winning the championship. So uh, I say it's pretty evenly spread. Do you feel like there's any less pressure on you because you've already won two championships? Uh, maybe a little. I know that uh, if I walk away from here without a championship, I got two under my belt. Um, and I'll, you know, and then it's, it was still a good year for me. But if David doesn't, he's walked away with it with his hands empty, and uh, he's got to look forward to making it up next year. The track today, uh, as it looks, it looks like it's pretty damp out there right now. Do you expect it to get dry and dusty? And how important is the start going to be? Well, if it if it gets dusty like it did last year, um, the start's going to be very important because uh, if you get in mid pack, you, you can't even see. But uh, they got some. They're uh, watering a lot, you know, in between practices, and um, I think it'll be good for the race, and uh, hopefully it won't get dusty like it did last year. Do you have a race strategy for today that you can tell us about? Uh, I don't really have a strategy. I'm just going out like it's every any other race. I'm just going to race to win and uh, just have a good time and pray for the best. That's all right. In your, in your situation, you're seven points up. You've got to finish behind Rick in both motos, one position behind him to, to win the championship. What is your race strategy? What do you do? I don't think I can really form a strategy. It's just going to have to be like every other race because if I go out and ride for second place, you know, that's like I'm, I'm setting myself up for letting Rick be ahead of me, and I don't want that to happen. I want to try and get the star, be ahead of Rick, look at the signal board, see where he is, and just treat it like any other race. Rick's been uh, the toughest guy out there week after week, so I know it, I'm going to have to keep an eye out for him. But I want to try to win the first moto, and that'll that'll put a little bit more points gap between myself and Rick, and it, it'll make it easier for me the second moto. So I think that's the main thing. Get out there and try and win that first moto or finish ahead of Rick. Mickey, going into the last race here at Washougal, Washington, uh, it seems as though you only need about a 17th place finish to get enough points to win the championship. With that in mind, what is your strategy and what are you going to try and do today? Well, I'm going to try and get through the first moto to begin with, but I'm going to try you know, and get the whole shot and try and win each moto. It's, that's what I want to do today, win. This being your first year on a real strong uh, team, uh, being with Team Honda, um, how has this affected your, your mental attitude, your total performance out on the racetrack? A lot. I have a, a real good mental attitude. I, I'm really confident going to each race. I know everything's going to be you know, in tip-top shape, and I know I'm going to have stuff that it, if it's not better, it's going to be just as good as what everybody else has. This championship, what does it mean to Mickey Diamond? Um, hopefully the start of a long career, a winning career. Um, hopefully just a step in that direction. Mickey, I hope you win it. Good luck. And we'll see you in the winner's circle today. Okay, thanks. Here in the 125 class, coming out of New Orleans, California, he is the only 125 rider to have won three national events this year. 399 points, it's a big points lead, but he can't lay down on the job. He has got to score some points today. Mickey Diamond, Rebel into California, riding for, and you have not seen them out here today. It will be up to the referee. He'll make that determination. Probably he's consulting with team managers and looking at the track right now whether or not they will have a practice lap because the track has been watered considerably since the last time the riders were on it and because these uh, top ten riders... Group now from Scott 2, feel the difference to the new Scott 2 group along with the big interior half-pass of your local motorcycle dealer. Out in front, Mickey Diamond. Looks like Mickey Diamond and Eric Kehoe going to the lead. Kehoe on the inside, now the outside. Diamond, pole stop it. Mickey Diamond riding number 43 from Marble into California, the points leader in the 125 national class. And Diamond does not need to win to wrap up the championship, but Diamond is going for all the models. He's got the lead. Eric Kehoe running in another two position. Riders on the far side of the track. And we're from the Alfred 
Now we're going to head to that jig out here on the Malabar site. Last time we'll see him, it's Diamond starting to put away already. An eighth of a lap or quarter of a lap down, and Diamond with about a 15 to 20 bike length lead over Eric Kehoe.
more than five by five to the first seven and quarters. Then Diamond with a better line managed to ease out in front of two eyes and put Camille in the race. About ten quarters into the race behind the jump. We couldn't see what happened. Evidently riding on the 43 Diamond sliding off the track. As he dropped the air back, he gave the lead to number eight here at Keyhole, and Keno has really done some damage to the rest of this field. Picking him up and ran him out. Here they come to the doubles and the tennis again. Here's your leader. Running way back now with another two position. It's Brian Myershaw. Myershaw's running second. Third place is two back. Here comes Ryan Fox. That's the challenge.
Johnson behind the announcer tower.
to see it out of sight, evidently the Lord's sliding off the racetrack or having some kind of a problem. I didn't see the pass, but Bailey has moved into the number two position. Riding 
out of 203, Jeff Leach, the Australian national champion, is pounding away in the lead, following him is Eric Kehoe, winner of medal number one. Running in another three position, number 23 is Eddie Warren, fourth Rick Ryan, fifth George Holland. He's going in sixth, Larry Brooks eighth, Ricky Diamond ninth, Taylor Manet running tenth, Tyson Bowman eleventh.
Again, the two for Crescent. Big Grand Junction, Colorado. Water number 94. Grand Junction, Colorado.
Now that clock will not be a factor two laps from now, I promise you. Hold on. Jeff Ward out in front, right at number four. He's got the whole job, followed by Rick Johnson. Let's correct that. It's David Bailey running in the number two position. David Bailey running in second. Johnson back in the number six spot. Here's your leader, Jeff Ward, running over four, Kawasaki, and a mission to Yeho, California. From Action, Virginia, running in another two position. Right in another six, Jay and Bailey. And Jeff Stanton is running third. Stanton is riding today his first ever pro race. He finished about 11th and made it number one, coming from way out of the pack. He won out of Canasso Championships just one week ago at Loretta Lynn. One week prior to that at Parker City. And now in his first ever national, Jeff Stanton running in another three positions. Behind him, Ron Lachine, Ron and number two. Lachine is second. Lachine, we're looking for a drive to move into third. And Lachine may have the inside line in the record. Lachine takes on the second. And on the third. Jeff Stanton dropping back to fourth. Rick Johnson in fifth. Johnson all over the racetrack. He cannot afford to let the front runners get that far in front of him, and he knows it. He has got to get around Jeff Stanton with Lachine immediately. Now Jeff, trying to get away from the runway with Stanton. Johnson trying to pull him on the outside, looking for Idaho. Stanton takes the line away. Rick Johnson running in fifth pass over to show that. He has got to move his body up. He's got to take the win and hope that something happens to Bailey. Johnson riding like a madman. And Johnson goes by Stanton, I think. Bill Cantrell with the Nazi star. Out of our sight. Front runners up on top of the hill. Here comes Ward. He's at the base of the hill. Coming through the dust. Bailey still running in that number two position. Johnson has to catch Pat Ward and leave Bailey running back in third to have a chance at the national title. Still running third. Ron Machine riding number two. Fourth place, the Magic Man Rick Johnson, fifth Jeff Stanton, riding his first ever pro race. Johnson is really beating his race track apart. He's doing it everything he possibly can. He's got to catch Machine. He's got to go around him and set it right. Rick Johnson on the gas. Right now, you have to think of Johnson as probably the fastest rider on the track. But when a rider gets behind and he tries to make it up, the adrenaline gets flowing. It could mean that Johnson could be taking new lines. He's popping in the corners harder than he's been popping all day. It could be off his riding style. Have to let it see. The midway in front of Rick Johnson is Ron Lachine. Nothing else matters. Bailey. He stays ahead of Johnson. It doesn't matter what happens. He'll be the national champion. Action Virginia, David Bailey, former 500 CC national champion. Supercross. Two times the grand national champion of motocross. And Bailey headed for another 500 CC national championship. Jeff Ward appears to be pulling away from the rest of 
the field. Ward riding almost with no dust, way out of front. No pressure. Riding as calmly, as slowly as he can. David Bailey running a second. Yeah, but now Ron was seen. Ron was seen as challenging David Bailey for that number two position, and that has to be interesting. If Rick Johnson can get it together, if we see can pass Bailey,
Jim Hendrickson, Jim Hendrickson, your pistols up and out this hour. The two loud board is out. The two loud sign is out. The next time Jeff Ward comes around the track, he's going to get that white flag, meaning one lap and one lap only to go. And he'll be the national winner here at Wall Street in 1986. And then the Bader will become the national champion. best job I could to pretend like I wasn't nervous but uh, I was pretty tense the first moto and and I rode like it and the second moto I was pretty tense as well but the fact that Rick was behind me the whole time made it a lot easier it seemed like an hour-long race man I was so glad that guy put the two lap board out with only a couple laps left so I was ready to stop <laughs> down into the 1986 national champion Mickey Diamond from Yorba Linda, California, winning the 125cc championship. David Bailey from Axton, Virginia, winning the Open Class National Championship. There they are, your national champions for 1986. 